part one, formula review time. In this next brief section, we'll go over several formulas that we learned in our first video, The Candy Coated World of Calculus, Part 1. If you find this review redundant, you can fast forward until you see this big cream pie which says new stuff on it. That pie indicates the beginning of the new stuff. Get it? Okay, here we go. The first review topic is... The derivative. The derivative is fundamental to calculus. Almost everything you'll do in class and in this tape is based on the derivative, and you'll spend a lot of time learning formulas to determine it. Put very simply, the derivative is a rate of change. An example of a derivative in action is the speedometer on a car, which measures the velocity you're driving whenever you look at it. The derivative is also equal to the slope of a tangent line to a curve at a particular point, because the slope is a rate of change of y with respect to x. What you see here is the formal definition for the derivative. The derivative of a function f, or f prime of x, equals the limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. I know that looks a lot like a formula and not a dictionary definition, but when we talk about the definition of the derivative, that's what it is, a formula. Today, I will be talking about calculus. Make a little bit of theory of relativity thrown in. As far as calculus goes, there are several rules that help make finding the derivative easier. They are the power rule, the product rule, and the quotient rule. Let's look. The power rule is critical, is used often, and is pretty easy. It says the derivative of a variable x raised to the power n is n times x raised to the n minus 1 power. You will get so used to using the power rule that you will be reciting it in your sleep. Next, the product rule. The product rule says that the derivative of the product of two functions is the derivative of the first times the second plus the derivative of the second times the first. This looks like a big mess, but all you really need to do is take the derivatives of the two functions you are given and then plug everything in this formula. It's easier than it looks, trust me. Finally, we've got the quotient rule. The quotient rule states that the derivative of a quotient of two functions is the derivative of the numerator times the denominator, minus the derivative of the denominator times the numerator, all divided by the denominator squared. Again, this looks like a worse mess than the product rule, but really, all you need to do is find the derivatives of the two functions you are given, and then plug everything into this formula. All of these rules can be found in the insert cards that came with your video. Well, there are also two funky rules for finding some oddball derivatives that you will need to know for class at some point. The first oddball rule was about E. E is magic number. E is just like pi. Not the cream pie we talked about earlier, but pi, the number. E is the representation of a specific number, 2.718 dot dot dot, that comes up all the time in the math world. The rule here is that if E is raised to the power of x, as you see it here, then its derivative is itself, or just E to the x. It's actually a very easy rule. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x, if only all derivatives were so easy. The second trick rule deals with natural logs. The natural log rule states that if f of x equals the natural log of x, then its derivative, or f prime of x, is just 1 over x. So, the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. That's it for the review. Be sure to check out your handy standard deviance insert card. It has all these rules and more right in one place. And remember, if this little review has piqued your interest and you want to find out where you can get more of the same, try checking out the companion to this video, The Candy Coated World of Calculus Part 1.